Hey everyone, uh, today's video is uh, still, uh, we are still talking about what if analysis. Uh, we have already talked about, uh, all learned about scenario manager and goal seek. We, today we're going to uh, learn on how to use data table. Data table right here. Uh, part of what if analysis provided uh, by Excel. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Jump to <coughs> uh, data table. Basically, data table is a way of Excel calculating if uh, one or two of these assumptions right here is changing. Changing uh, uh, gradually. Uh, uh, if I can say, uh, I, I can write an example. If <coughs> the selling price is changing to six percent, sorry, <coughs> the sales the sales volume. I mean, sales volume changing to six percent. The total revenue will be uh, one million to twenty nine thousand. Changing to seven percent to one million to seventy seven uh, fifty nine thousand and so on and so on eight percent nine percent and ten percent so on. So uh, the data table will is a feature uh, provided by Excel to automatic to automate that uh, process uh, that I show you before. So if selling price right here, I'm changing to. From five percent, five percent to uh, let's recommend by two percent, like this. So uh, Excel will automatically uh, calculate the total revenue. Can calculate the total revenue right here. Uh, as the selling price changing, uh, the, the sales growth changing from 5% to 19%. Okay, how to do that is just like this. Uh, click on this uh, cell right here uh, next to our uh, sales growth, sales growth scenario equals to total revenue because we want to know the total revenue of this block all the these two just make sure though so, uh, the this one is connected this one is connected to our uh, total revenue and make sure total revenue is also connected and 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 everything is connected okay it's like that block all this go to what if analysis data table we have to input row input column input because this is uh columns this is the column uh we want to input the column input cell of this because we, uh, we want to change the uh, sales growth we want to see the uh, effect of the sales growth Turn ok and ok so now we see the result of the revenue as the sales growth changing you can double check this by, by uh, Changing this maybe fifteen percent. So this is the same as the value of uh, the data table set by uh, calculate by Excel. Uh, another thing the, that the data table can also uh, change to parameters to assumption. Same uh, uh, same. Simultaneously, so uh, that's why they they provide to 
uh, input, row input, and column input. Let me show you the example. First, we're gonna delete this. So, I'm going to delete this. This, okay. Click on third. So, this is the sales growth, right? This is the sales growth. We're going to merge first and sales growth. Now we also want to change uh, this. Uh, we want to see the change of this selling price in by one percent. Okay, that's enough. Selling price, merge, selling price. The sell right here. Top uh, left corner is total revenue. Okay. First, I'm going to change back to 5%, or maybe this is. Change to do five percent, five percent also. So this is the basic scenario: five percent, five percent sales growth, selling price growth also five percent. We going to choose this, block all the table, click on data, what if analysis, data table, row input is this. Uh, Input by so uh, the row input is the selling price. This is the row input, this is the column input or the column input. So, row input should be the selling price growth, and the column input this is the column input, uh, this is the sales growth. Click on here. Now we have the uh, value of total revenue as this. To parameter or indicators or assumption changing its value. So uh, to read this, when the selling the sales growth is five percent and selling price five percent also five percent, the total revenue will be seven hundred seventy six thousand and four hundred forty five. And when the sales growth is five percent and the uh, selling price is six percent. Uh, the total revenue will be seven hundred ninety-seven thousand and so on. Well, <coughs> to check this, uh, we can check by uh, changing the check this maybe. If sales could uh, change to eleven percent and the selling price seven percent, it should be. Nine hundred and sixty-two thousand right here. Change this to seven percent. Seven percent have the same amount like this. So <coughs> uh, I think uh, that's it for today. I hope you find this video is useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please uh, like and share if you find this video useful. Thank you and bye.